heartbreaking story to tell you about tonight. This one out of Bolton Hill. It happened this afternoon. The crime follows an already dangerous weekend involving, involving similar instances. WMER 2 News Dave Detling with how neighbors were able to stop the thieves from stealing a Subaru. More police are circling Bolton Hill after an attempted carjacking and assault on Utah Place. I'm definitely curious, uh, just kind of seeing like what was up. Sheba Shakai was walking her dog when she saw the victim, neighbors and police filing a report. Glad to see that there were other people on site to support. The victim was followed into this apartment building foyer by two teens who were dressed in black. They grabbed keys attached to the belt loop and ran back to the driver's car. It sounds really aggressive that they would do it in the middle of the day, especially with cars coming by. The driver did fight back but was punched in the head. The suspects running off with a key fob after another neighbor yelled, scaring them off. Monday's crime, just the latest case when it comes to carjackings. She has multiple broken bones. The sister of Chelsea Nicolette also speaking out. Her loved one ran over with her own car after being carjacked Saturday in the Wyman Park neighborhood. Video shows the Amazon delivery driver running towards her car before being hit. The assailant got out of the car, grabbed the key off of her belt loop, and uh, left with all the packages, with the car, everything. And my, my poor sister, um, you know, after being struck, laying in the street. People in the neighborhoods impacted by these crimes say they're sick and tired of people's disrespect and disregard for life. You know, that makes everybody scared. It's disheartening. It's terrifying. Just hoping that, um, yeah, we can kind of still roam about freely, but feel comfortable about it. Well, for a 